Hello everyone. Welcome back to another session on dentistry and more. Today we have a small topic in periodontics that is teething. So teething, uh, all of us know what is teething. Teething is process by which an infant's teeth erupts uh, or break through the gums. So that is a normal physiological process. Teething is also referred to as cutting of the teeth. And teething is medically termed as odontiasis. It is cutting or odontiasis. It is also known as odontiasis. In most cases, eruption of primary teeth causes no distress to the child or parent but sometimes the process causes local irritation which may interfere with child sleep the small primary incisors usually erupts without any difficulty but difficult teething is most commonly associated with larger teeth so that is the uh, introduction part that is the process of eruption of primary tooth through the gums and occasionally it causes distress it is between six months to three years that is the period when this teeth erupts and it mostly associated with larger teeth so usually uh, baby's uh, teething starts around uh, four months to ten months that is when the um, first residual central incisor lower central incisor erupts uh, some may be early and some may be uh, late uh, teeth will be there. Some uh, babies uh, teeth at exactly uh, uh, during six months. Some may be early four months. Some may be late at ten months. So early average or late teeth are there. So first central incisor, then lateral canines, first molar, second molars. It erupts during this period. So we have signs and symptoms of this condition the signs uh, is divided into local and systemic signs are uh, local it is uh, drooling uh, lack of sleep refusal of food uh, keeping hands in the mouth rubbing of ear and cheek um, as a consequence of referred pain during the eruption of molars and there will be mild rashes around uh, mouth due to the skin irritation secondary to excessive drooling and fuzziness that uh, comes and goes and uh, decreased sleeping uh, due to the gum discomfort whereas the systemic um, signs are irritability and crying fever which is over 101 Fahrenheit diarrhea or runny nose and cough prolonged fuzziness rash over the body increased thirst and loss of appetite Whereas the symptoms include eruption, hematoma, eruption, sequestrum, ectopic eruption, Epstein bulls, bonds, nodules, and systemic uh, cholera, infantile paralysis. So many are there. So basically, we provide medications, analgesic uh, preparations like paracetamol. We can give 5 ml uh, once a day and hypnotics and sedatives we can give chloral hydrate that is uh, 25 ml uh, sorry 2.5 ml chloral hydrate uh, twice a day or if it is more than uh, 5 years like 1 to 5 years we can give up to 5 ml um, twice a day uh, so this is a basic uh, picture about teething so it is also known as odontiasis so usually it is a common process but when it is creating problem the signs and symptoms will arise so other uh, symptoms we have already discussed the epstein pearls and bone nodules so teething is a physiological process at times it causes distress to the baby so that's all about teething i'll come up with a new session on dentistry and more Thank you.